All right, here with Danny Jacks going to Blues. Paul and Glenn. Paul Orsini, Peltier, Glenn Peltier on camera. Come on in, Paula. So, hey, my friend. So we're we're doing like our old family recipe of brujol. Like, mm. now listen, everybody's got their own brujol <laughs> recipe. Like, hey. like, like, like uh, somebody chiseled it in the. In stone, you know, this is our recipe, right, Paula? That's right. Your family, this no, is, your this family. This is the Orsini recipe. Or Orsini family Orsini recipe. recipe. So, but uh, her dad, her, her dad used to do a round steak. This is a, this is a ribeye. Slice it real thin, trim the fat. Uh, we'll put a little bit of salt, pepper. Okay, we're gonna put some some parmigiani. Lots of parm on there. Yeah, lots of parm. No, no prosciutto, right? No, we never did prosciutto because we did the sausage. Yeah. Now this is a sweet, sweet, uh, the sweet, sweet cheese, cheese parsley. Yep. Sweet cheese parsley. Sweet sausage. That's what came in that pinwheel. Yeah. So, hey, I gotta say, if you want to order some up, give them a shot. They might, if they like it, they might send you some. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. Uh. Ty, how about that parsley? Might I put a little green onion? Go for it. Put a green onion. A little bit of parsley. Okay, we're gonna roll it up. Okay. See that? Some cheese on the outside. Right, Paula? What do you think? Perfect. That looks good. Okay. Not the prettiest, but we're going to do it. That's all right. They don't need to look pretty. They hey, just need to taste good. I'm going to wash my hands real quick, Glenn. Be right back. Okay, so... A little bit of oil. I always like to do it, you know, cut side down, just to get it sealed off. You want to do that? That's gonna be so delicious with that sausage in the center. So good. Now sometimes I would, I would. I learned a Brujol a whole different, but you know, it's like bolognese sauce, it's like, everybody's got their own recipe. A lot of people do it with um, hard boiled eggs yeah. inside. We never did that, but I know we have friends that have, you know, that do it that way. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're not gonna waste any of this Parmesan. Yeah. That's good stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna brown that up slowly. See how it's sealed up real good. On the, you know, once we put it sealed on the bottom first. We'll be right back. We're gonna sear it off on all sides on a on a slow fire. We'll be right back. All right. So Paula was talking about her dad. They had a display case. They have how many of these lined uh, up in a display case? We, we would have like maybe 24. 24. Like at least 24 of them, like me. Had a huge, had a huge uh, <clears throat> Italian community over in Groton, over here in London. Uh, vibrant, you know, who came to work at EB and all the uh, sub bases and all that. And uh, but here, here it is, right there. So what I do is you got to, you know, ground up nicely. We're going to pop it in the oven for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to make the sauce in the pan that we're going to serve it with. Right? Sounds what good. What do you think, Paula? I think that sounds good. We're doing the recipe S justice. Some Sunday gravy on that. Yeah, we'll put some Sunday gravy. Paula said he used to put all kinds of meat, pork chops, oh, yeah. sausages, whatever was left in the, 
leftover from the week. That's what you make your it's sauce like with. It's like a chicken. Yeah, absolutely. A pork skin. Mm -hmm. And cook it all day. Yeah. All day. All right. In the oven, she's going. Woo! Mm. All right, back with that Brajol. Orsini's famous Brajol. What I did is I put it out of the oven. I just put it up under the, under the broiler just, just for a little bit. So that's like, how's that, beautiful? That looks fantastic. So I'm gonna pour off. Paul said it was okay to, to do it my way with the, uh, with the gravy, with sauce. So for the Brajol, to, you know, to braise it up a little bit. Go for the Rosso. Francis Ford, like, he got it going on, does he? Can't beat that. A little bit of red. Check this out. Make, make sure it's up Are to the... Make sure that's okay? Make sure it's okay. Make sure it's up to the standards. <laughs> or the standards. <laughs> Cheers. A little bit of the red to get the mood right. A little bit of marinara. Okay. I'll lay my veal stock. Okay. Who's that, Donna? You better come back here. Come back here. Come on back. Come on back over here. Hey, this is my friend Donna Pekoski right there. I'm friends with her husband. We worked together back, what, is it? Should we say how many years ago? Oh, I don't know if that's a 40, thing. 40 years Easy, ago. Yes. When I was doing my apprenticeship in Hartford uh, at the fair, at the uh, Signature. Mm -hmm. And Alan ran a, he ran a restaurant there, or the, the deli and uh, yeah. for uh, ARA Food Service. Yeah. Davery's Division of ARA Food Service. Alan was like best friends with Carlo. Carlo's my mentor out in California. And then we had some wild times back in the day, 40 years ago. Yes, for so, sure. So what we're doing here is Paula and Glenn, Paula Orsini and uh, Peltier, this is Glenn Peltier, Rajol. Nice to meet you. You ever uh, had Rajol? Yes, I have. I know I you have. have huh? Hey, so, so what I'm doing is braising it up a little bit. And I want you to come back and try it when, when it's finished, okay? Okay, let me know. Okay. All right. Drove all the way down from where? Weathersfield? Newington. Newington. Yes. Oh, boy. So great to see you. Thank you. So look at that. Manja, manja. Huh? Look at that, Paula. Oh, that looks good. Right? That looks really good. Right? So... What I'm doing, back in the oven, I'd say another five five minutes or so. Just let that flavor. And sometimes that sausage on the inside, we just want a little bit of steam, you know, to finish cooking it properly. Man, I'm gonna have to dig into a little bit of that. <laughs> That's a good one. That beats all the other recipes. Come on. Although Carlo did show me a good recipe with pine nuts and prosciutto and provolone and an egg, pickle. He put a pickle oh, in it. Pickle. Yeah. See, I never heard that one. Yeah, all different. But it's all good. It's all good. Everybody got their own little twist. It's all good food. Salud. Oh, the sausage. How many years? How many years? Uh, How many years of Sausage Company? 1933. 1933. Oh, nice. Yes. So, so you're from New Britain, hard hit New Britain, right? So, okay, yes. so you're yeah. originally from New Britain? No, I grew up in Newington. Okay, so my mother's from New Britain. Okay. Um, Test Stories. No idea. Um, no? Okay. No. Testas, Test Story. Testa. Testa. Yeah. That's my, my family, too. Yeah. All over the place, huh? I'm telling you. Oh, so here we go now. Here's the piece. Uh, okay. Here's the okay, piece to resistance. Okay. Okay. Woo! Just like my grandma. <laughs> oh man. I love my grandma. This is a uh, What? Every Brajol. No two Brajols are alike. That's what I've learned to discover. 
So, okay. Very nice. So it's got marinara, red wine, and a little little bit, little bit of veal stock. I'm not even, it's so pretty. I'm not, I'm not even going with any green onions. <laughs> there we go. It's Cole, like is Sunday. Not, Cole is not shy. I am not it's shy. Like Sunday at, Sunday at Grandma's. So there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, See? Nice. Yeah. See, keep that. See, less. Yeah. The pinwheel effect. Get over here so Glenn can dig in. Thank you. 